Hare Krishna, this is Bhakti in Suravi here and today we will discuss some points which have to be kept in mind before choosing Guru or Spiritual Master. Point number one. By following the Guru's instructions, one feels closure to Krishna. On the path of perfection in spiritual life, it's essential to receive guidance from a Guru, a spiritual master or guide, because we can't directly or immediately approach God on our own. For example, if you want to meet the President or Prime Minister, you can't expect to just knock on his door and get an audience. First, you need an appointment from his secretary or an introduction by a mutual friend. It is even more so with God. We each have a direct relationship with God because we are His children. But realizing and acting in the direct relationship is possible after we have become pure, which is a process. A spiritual master selflessly trains and guides us in reviving our relationship with God and is willing to help in difficult times. Point number two. The Guru represents the Guru Vashtakam prayers best in your opinion. Guru Vashtakam is eight prayers to the Guru that offer obeisances unto him and describe his wonderful qualities and activities. By the mercy of the spiritual master, one receives benediction from Krishna. Without the grace of the spiritual master, one cannot make advancement. Point number three. The disciple wants to ensure a relationship with the spiritual master and see an eternal relationship is established. Eternal means even after and also even before. Some say eternal means even after and even before. Others say eternal means from now on before. That if a relationship develops in this world and that it continues forever. Whatever it is, the most important focus for us is that it is forever. Point number four. One feels more attached to the particular guru and also feels more separation from him. In material world, any separation destroys us and makes us sad. But spiritual separation gives immense pleasure. Because in material world, if one thing is gone, it is gone forever. But in spiritual world, everyone is eternal and we won't never ever lose them. For example, Narad Muni also because of immense separation would be able to think of Krishna always. And it is the most highest mood of service and most blissful. Point number five. If by the preaching of the spiritual master once doubts and anarthas are removed, then that is another reason to accept him. Anarthana gele nami guna bujha jayena. Anarthana gele nami Krishna seva hoena. If anarthas are not removed, then the holy name will never produce knowledge of the divine qualities of Krishna. If anarthas are not destroyed by the chanting of the holy name, one can never engage in service to Krishna. All anarthas are easily removed only by the mercy of a genuine spiritual master and thus one also obtains the supreme favor of Lord Shri Krishna. Point number six. One guru inspires one to develop more faith and devotion for Krishna and Srila Prabhupada. Yashya Deve Para Bhakti Yatha Deve Tatha Guru one should have complete faith in the Guru who helps the disciple make progress in spiritual life. As soon as the disciple thinks independently, not caring for the instructions of the spiritual master, he is a failure. Yasya Prashad and Nagati Kutopi Thank you so much for watching. Your servant Vaktin Suravi. Hare Krishna.